In the time when the tree of knowledge was planted, all things were given form, even the deep waters of the darkness below and the vaults of darkness above took shape and form, and many elder gods were born of them. Of these gods, whose names are oft forgotten, there was Harak. Harak was not great upon his formation. In truth, he was small. He crawled around in the darkness of the abyss, but unlike his brothers and sisters, he knew himself and knew the abyss. So blessed and cursed by awareness, he felt pain and loneliness and looked beyond the depths. But the thought of the light and the shade of the tree pained him more. Existence was pain and he would have no part of it. It would be better to not exist. It would be better for all things not to exist.